Okay, open up the bonnet, move the engine cover, two clips at the front. Right, the timing chain tensioner is located, well this is the front of the car, so you go down the left side, it is this rusty little bolt here, well it's quite a big head, not a small one and it's 27mm. So I'll show you how the torque wrench does not fit in there. Well, I did fit it but I was not possible, it's not possible to turn it so that's that, I can't use the torque wrench. So it's a matter of just using a 27mm spanner. Use the other side. Loosen it, remove it, but before you remove it, you obviously need to put some tissues down here to stop any oil leaking out. Uh, it won't be too much, just a little bit, but I'll show you that later. Right, to get gain access to this, actually uh, get the spanner in, you need to remove that cable from there. Next, use the spanner. Once you've loosened it with the spanner, slowly, ow, the engine's still quite ow, hot. Fuck. See, as you can see, I've just loosened it and uh, some of the oil started to drain out. Now, I would continue to remove the whole timing bolt, but it's too hot because the engine is really warm at the moment. So I'll have to wait a short while. Okay, um, that's the timing chain tension that I've just removed. And here's my little helper with my new timing chain tensioner. Thank you. Thanks. Right, um, first you notice the difference in the head height. There's a huge difference, so you notice that when you look at it. Um, this one is a lot easier to compress, whereas the new one is quite difficult. Um, when you do remove this one from the car, you must remember that this will be, it won't be stuck there, it'll be actually stuck to the car, so you need to actually remove it yourself. Um, now we just go around to the front and fix a new one. Okay, a couple of minutes into about 10 minutes trying to actually fit this new timing chain tension, I realised the fact that uh, the spring is a lot harder to compress, so to actually fit this, to get it on the first thread, you're going to have to actually push it in and turn it. So the easiest way I've found is to use a 27mm socket, which I thought I wouldn't need. Uh, place it on it, and then use your two hands to push it in and then turn it. Uh, once that's once it's on the first thread then well you're fine and then you can just tighten it the whole way using the socket and when you get to the end just use a spanner where it is there it is and just tighten it. Um, there's no way I can get torque wrench in there so I'm just going to tighten it um, without really actually killing it. So that should be fine and I'll check for any oil leaks later on. Okay now that uh, the timing chain tensioner is hand tighten more or less all the way in. You obviously need to get this large spanner in somehow to actually tighten it to finish it off. So you need a 10 mm socket to remove the power steering fluid reservoir. Okay, there you go, the new timing chain tension has, has been fitted, I put the cable back in, I fitted the power steering reservoir back, let's go to the car, will it start, okay, yep, success, so that's all it takes, it's about maybe 30 minutes, so these are the only tools that I use today, a screwdriver to, to remove the engine cover, a 27mm socket, a 10mm socket for the power steering fuel reservoir and 27 mm socket to finish it all off and actually remove it initially so it's about 30 minutes um it doesn't take too long yeah and some tissues as well yeah don't forget them